This is a plate. Okay, looks like a regular plate. Without a Hebrew inscription or without a Judaic inscription in it, the value is mm, probably about four hundred dollars. Meet Jonathan Greenstein, Long Island resident and the world's leading expert in Jewish ritual objects or Judaica. This one was made in Germany. It was made in 1924. It was. Uh, given to a attendee of a synagogue uh, that was destroyed in Kristallnacht. And because of the Judaic history and the Judaic value on it, it's going to go between seven and ten thousand dollars. Right. The silver value, three, four hundred. The Judaic value, seven to ten thousand. Greenstein owns and operates Greenstein Gallery, a luxury auction house solely devoted to the appraisal and sale of these historical collectible items. His interest in this hobby, that then became a career, started from a young age. At 14 years old, I took a job at an antique store because I went to public school, and public school was done at 1230. So from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock every day, uh, I worked at this antique store in Brooklyn uh, on Kings Highway. And um, it was late 70s, early 80s, where um, silver was at a ridiculously high price. And every little old Jewish lady was bringing in her husband's cup, you know, or her grandfather's menorah, you know, and selling it for the value of scrap. And even though the owner wasn't, uh, he, was, he wasn't a Jewish person, he, uh, he understood that there was a value more than money to these things and didn't want to melt them to the silver. So I worked out an agreement with him that uh, he paid me with them. That was my salary. And uh, since then, uh, it's evolved from a hobby. And then over the course of the next 10, 15 years, they became known as like America's antique Jewish ritual art uh, expert. Today, he appraises the antique ritual items from his Cedarhurst shop and also on his cable program, Jewish Guilt, on the Jewish channel. It's a micro niche in the art and antique world. It's a tiny subsection of a subsection of a subsection. There is no uh, school, you know, for antique Jewish ritual art. If so, I would be the only teacher and the only student. Um, it's more, uh, it's more a, uh, a process of just touching and feeling and uh, learning through handling pieces. Well, most people, it, you have to really have a deep understanding of Judaica to know of a value. We set values here. You know, it's like Harris so, you know, is the value setter for United States stamps. They make the catalog. That's us when it comes to Judaica. And it's, you know, what, what we feel is a, an appropriate trade value because there's no, you know, uh, it's not like a coin where it's an 1893C Morgan dollar, you know, uh, and that's what it's worth depending on the grade. With all of this stuff, it's all handmade. You know, it's whatever the value is between the seller and the buyer. And by having auctions, you know, uh, the auction value really kind of sets the value for that particular type of a piece of art for the next one. He assigns a monetary value to the sale item oftentimes when the seller no longer has an emotional attachment to it. So if you think about it, 1740 to, uh, you know, 2012 is 270 years, 273 years. It's another family, two, 273 years. She sells it. They don't want it anymore. What should they do? Most of the antique Jewish ritual art that came to this country came between 1880 and 1904, 1905, during the great wave of immigration. Anything that survived World War II really survived by coming to this country with that generation of immigrants. That being said, as the years progressed, those immigrants assimilated, their children assimilated more, their grandchildren assimilated even more, and sometimes these objects, they really didn't pose a value to them, you know, uh, emotionally or religiously or otherwise. Uh, and it was more of a, um, you know, a, a dollar value. People don't realize that buying an antique, you're keeping the value of something forever. His goal is to share his expertise of this ritual art with others, as he also seeks out forgotten treasures. There's more antique Judaica shoved away in apartment, the apartments of New York City, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, than there is in all the museums in the world. You know, because these were personal ritual objects. They descended in families. People have them. It's out there. You just got to find it. Or they got to find you. For Push Pause from Cedarhurst, this is Stephanie Brumsey.